Hey guys, I am here with Heather. This is uh, Mike Collette, uh, head coach, owner of Crosser Prototype. Just going to go through uh, just a basic uh, movement assessment I was doing with Heather. Just a basic active straight leg raise. So basically the active straight leg raise tells us a couple things. Um, potential tension in the hamstring on one side. Potential activation, tension of the hip flexor complex on the opposing side. But, but if you get into a good position, it can also give you some indication of, uh, of some other things that are going on. And a lot of it can be potentially positional. So just to go through this, um, you know, this basic assessment, I'm going to take a PVC pipe, I'm going to put it under the back of her knees, okay? And then with the active straight leg raise, what I want her to do is keep one leg in contact with the PVC pipe, as she raises one leg up, keeping the knee straight. So Heather, let's raise up that leg we would. Good. She's going to raise that leg up. And if you can see, her heel is in front of that PVC pipe. So we're looking ideally for about 90 degrees here. So we got a good amount of range of motion to move. So Heather, you can bring that leg down. Let's do that one more time. All right, cool. Let's bring that down. Now let's stand up. So before, step off to the side just a little bit. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take a look at Heather's, uh, you can turn to the side for me, Heather. We're gonna take a look at just her, um, her posture. So we take a look at this, Heather, you can bring your hand, just like put it over your head for a second, just so you take a look at your pelvis. So we take a look at her hips. She's in slight extension here at the lower back. You see the PSIS is a little bit higher than the ASIS, so the think back of the hip a little bit higher than the front of the hip. So she's in what's called a slight anterior pelvic tilt. Now what can happen is if we're in this anterior pelvic tilt position, ham, the, um, the hamstrings can be under tension and under length the entire, you know, a lot. And the front of the hip or the front of the side, the anterior side, the hip flexors can be shortened, right? So what we want to do is we want to be able to, if we're doing an active straight leg raise, we've got to be able to differentiate between if the hamstrings are tight, okay, or really truly tight, or if there's some sort of positional issue that we can kind of get her out of. So what I'll have her do is I'm going to lay back down on the ground. So just think about if you guys remember that we what we just watched with the active straight leg raise. So I'm going to have her keep leg in contact here. Okay, now I'm going to have her just cue her to tuck her pelvis in, to draw her pelvis in, squeeze her glutes. Now I'm going to have her take that right leg and raise that up nice and high. Good. Now look at that. We just got some length here. Okay. Definitely a ton increase in that range of motion before her heel was in front of that pipe. Now we're going to come down. Okay, do that same thing. Tuck your pelvis in. Just tuck the pelvis in. Now raise that leg up nice and high. Good. Awesome. Now bring that leg down. Now Heather, did you get some core engagement on that one? Did you squeeze it? You, oh, you squeeze your stomach? Okay, so what I would do here, so she kind of did that without kind of me asking, but what if we're going to get, put someone into a posterior tilt, we would have the cue them to activate that midline, those abdominals, to keep that in a good set position, and then raise the leg up. So just tilt the pelvis back without t turning on the st your stomach for a second. So just turn and tuck the pelvis in and raise that leg up. So we're here. Pretty similar, come back down. Now tuck your pelvis in, squeeze your stomach. Tuck in, squeeze the abs, now raise that leg up. Wow, so we shot right up. So we definitely got a little bit more range of motion, just turn that midline on. So just a couple things to take take from this, guys, is when you're doing an active strike leg raise, okay, take a look at the person's positional posture and what's going on at their pelvis before you have them raise just their leg up, okay, because it might be tight hamstrings, but in, but it, you know, it could be essentially in just an interior, pel in, have them in an interior pelvic tilt, and uh, they're just not being able to get the full uh, range out of that, um, that active straight leg raise. So just look at positions first before you start, you know, giving people, you know, exercises and, and uh, to, you know, stretch those hamstrings when they truly might not to be, might not have to be uh, particularly lengthened. Thanks, guys.